Australia's Great Barrier Reef should be listed as a World Heritage Site that's in danger, according to a UN-backed study. And without what it calls ambitious, rapid and sustained climate action, the world's largest coral reef is in peril. The report says frequent mass bleachings of coral, increased water acidity and temperature are among the threats, impacts which are directly attributed to uncurbed emissions. If things mess it up or if something's wrong with the climate, um, it can actually really affect the reef really badly. So for us to be out here and to be seeing it and to work out what's going on and how it's going on is really amazing, really unique. UNESCO has called for greater investment in water quality. These recommendations will see more pressure on the Australian government to address global heating. But unless we can get emissions under control, we don't have much hope for the reef ecosystem. So it has to be a multi-pronged approach to addressing this issue, which has reducing emissions at the core. Once a year, when the weather is right and the moon is full, the coral spawns. Scientists hope by learning more about the reproduction of the corals that they can better understand how to save them. It's pretty phenomenal how much we still don't know and understand about coral biology. Spawning in particular, you know, we've, we've come an incredibly long ways in the last 30 to 40 years in terms of our knowledge, but we're still awaiting every spawning every year to understand exactly when these corals are going to release those egg and sperm bundles. Much of the work is already focused on regrowing the already damaged parts of the reef. These corals may bleach less or they may recover sooner. And what our research has found that that tends to be a genetic trait that can be passed from parents to offspring. So by identifying these naturally tolerant parents and then breeding them, like we are here on the science barge at the moment, we can help the reef recover and become more tolerant faster than it might naturally do. The UN has recommended that both the federal and Queensland governments implement stronger climate policies consistent with stopping sea warming at 1.5 degrees. Both levels of government have issued statements saying they are now doing more and have taken a number of significant steps forward since the UN study. Craig Vermey, TRT World, Brisbane.